Hey guys, what's up? This is Yahash with Simple Keys. Welcome back to another video. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to play Talking to the Moon by Bruno Mars. Uh, we're taking it back a little bit with this one. It's got some very nice and simple chords, and I thought I'd share this with you guys. Uh, so this song is in the key of E major. We're going to go ahead and get started. So E's are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that brings us back to the top. Now, if you want to understand how to play in all 12 keys, I, I do have a free guide at simplekeys.com that will walk you through all the 12 major and minor scales, so you can go ahead and check that out. And if you want a better understanding of music theory, how to break down the notes, the scales, understanding chords, progressions, and how to break down songs, I do have a program called Master the Piano that's going to walk you through the entire music learning process from scratch. So go ahead and check that out. So this song is fairly simple. It's got a number of moving parts. So what I'm going to do here is break down the intro, the verse, and the chorus, and then we're going to save the bridge for another lesson so so let's go ahead and get into the intro it's going to start like this All right, so let's quickly go over that. So the intro is very simple. We're going to be playing an E major chord. What I like to do in my left hand is play octaves, so E octaves. Or you can just play one. If you're really just starting out, just play one note. You can just go and just bounce between these two notes. So the, the pattern here is you're going to hit E and G sharp together. Then you're going to hit a B. So this is going to be the pattern for all the chords we're going to play. But this is just simply an E major chord. So let's quickly break down those chords. So an E major chord, we played this already. This is a G sharp seven, dominant seven chord. So G sharp, C, D sharp, F sharp. Next chord is C sharp minor seven. So you're gonna play C sharp in your bass, B, E, G sharp. Then you're gonna play a B major chord. So B, D sharp, F sharp. Then an A major chord. So that's an A, C sharp, E over A. So when you put it all together, it's going to sound like this. Then this is like the pre-chorus. Okay, so that pre-chorus is F sharp minor seven. So you're pretty much playing like an A major in your right hand over F sharp. And you're gonna play a B major chord. We've played this chord already. And go back to the F sharp minor seven. Then you're gonna play this. It's like a B sus four chord. So B E F sharp, which is gonna lead us into the chorus, which is gonna go. Okay, so let's quickly go over that chorus. So the chorus is gonna go. So that's the melody there, so it's. And it's gonna repeat. All I'm doing here is now playing chords that are gonna follow that melody line. So we're gonna go. 
So my right hand, I'm pretty much playing this. This is like an A sus two. Then we're gonna go, when we play this B, we're gonna be playing like this, uh, pretty much like a B seven sus four chord, but just think about like a B major chord with like a perfect fourth in the right hand. Then you're gonna go C sharp minor seven. So A sus two. All you're doing is just kind of moving your pinky down here. So your left hand is just going to be moving from the A, B, C sharp. Then the melody is going to go again. Then you go back to the, it's like an A sus2. Then you're going to play a B major chord. The next chord after this is E major chord. This is like a B major chord over D sharp. Next chord is next chord is a C sharp minor seven. Next chord is a B major chord. Then an A major chord. Then we're gonna go back to the B major chord. Then it's gonna have this little outro, which is gonna take us to C sharp minor seven. B major chord. This is cool right here. So this is like an F sharp major chord. Then it takes us back to the intro. Okay, so let's quickly go over the chorus. This is what it's gonna sound like. So that's the main gist of the song. So what I'd recommend is going back, making sure you get each section down the intro, get the verse, get the pre-chorus, and then get the chorus and go back into the verse. Very simple. In the next lesson, I'm gonna show you guys how to play the bridge. But if you like this, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stay locked in. There's gonna be a lot more content coming your way. So yeah, we're gonna end this video here. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Y'all be easy.